I hate virtual reality headsets. I hear this a lot. And maybe this is how you feel. You may be afraid of getting headaches, eyes burning, motion sickness. These headsets, they're heavy, they're chunky, they're complicated, and they make us feel isolated. Some of you might even be afraid of this dystopias that you have heard, us putting on the headset, completely forgetting about human experiences, human connections. Then there are others here who have heard these large corporate visions. Meet me in VR, meet me in the virtual world. But in the end, a lack of adoption and a lack of maturity. Discomfort, fear, disappointment. This is how we feel when we're talking about immersive technologies today. But let me invite you on a journey of exploring the other side, the opportunities, the benefits today, and especially tomorrow. So what is it that makes immersive technology so special? Let's start with a very brief 30-second definition so that we all talk about the same. Augmented reality. Augmented reality brings literally anything, any virtual object to you. You put on a headset, you take out your mobile phone, and you can blend into your reality, into what you perceive any digital object. Uh, object. Flip side, virtual reality. Rather than bringing anything to you, this one can take you anywhere. You put on the headset, you can be anywhere on the planet. So what are benefits already today of these technologies? It is already today that VR is revolutionizing education all around the planet. Students can see the mammoths, travel to ancient Rome, see the dinosaurs, or even meet the greatest minds of the past who sit next to them and explain them the foundations of physics. It is already today that healthcare professionals they practice in VR, and thank God, not on us, when we're, we're there. They're practicing in VR. And it is also today where firefighters practice how they conduct their life-saving procedures in virtual reality. You know, I once met a politician who actually summarized it quite well. He said, Philip, I can't put a house on fire every time I want to train one of my firefighters. I think he's got a point. Let's have a look at augmented reality. Augmented reality gives us superpowers. You pull out your mobile phone or a headset, and you can blend in any digital object. That chair that you wanted to buy, the f that you wanted to buy for your apartment. Instead of going to the store, you can simply display it in your room, see how it looks like. That customized sneaker, the dress, the suit. You can try them on virtually, without needing to travel, already here today in your presence, in your reality. It even gives us more superpowers. I can see what is literally invisible. I can see through the wall. I can tell you where the pipeline is, where the electricity grid is, before I start to drill, before I start to put up a picture. All these benefits are unique for immersive technologies already today. OK, you might say, today. But where's this heading? What is the future of this immersive technology? To understand where we're heading, we need to revisit the story of transformative innovations of the past. Cars, computers, mobile phones. Once their necessity was questioned, they seemed like novelties, luxuries beyond the grasp of everyday utility. But history teaches us an important lesson here. What started as a curiosity, evolved into a commodity. Just like you today, cannot imagine transportation without cars, communication without mobile phones, or work without a laptop. All of us, we're in the slow awakening of realizing that immersive technologies will change the way how we interact with digital content forever. To understand the impact of where we're heading, that these experiences will only become more seamless, we need to reflect on our behavior and our interaction with information technology. Information technology has become one of the largest distractors of us living in the moment. 
Who of you here is using a mobile phone on a daily basis? Please raise your hand. OK, everyone. Who here is using the mobile phone for at least one hour a day? Please raise your hand. Everyone. At least two hours a day. At least three hours a day? OK. Half, roughly half the room. Per statistics, we are using our mobile phone for three hours and 50 minutes. That is, on our lifetime, more than 10 years. 10 years that you are spending staring at a screen the size of your hand. That's representing 3% of your field of view, neglecting the other 97% happening all around you. It is always an either or, and that's something that we need to realize. Either I'm with you in the physical moment, or I'm giving my attention to the mobile phone, the digital world. It is important to realize that we want to have both. It's not only the physical world or the digital world. The digital world has become too important to us. It keeps us informed, it keeps us connected. But it is always an either or. Either you're at the concert, dancing, singing, enjoying the show, at the risk of forgetting it, the memory, one day, or you're pulling out your mobile phone, keeping the memory forever, but not enjoying the show. So what does it mean when we then move with immersive technologies toward this, towards the state which is going to be fully seamless? Today we're talking about headsets. Tomorrow we're talking about glasses. Then we'll be talking about lenses, and maybe even one day about neural interfaces. They will change the way how we interact with digital content. I believe to a better. I think one point will end up in three realities. Let me introduce them to you. I think each of them has the justification, and it is important to realize each of them has their advantages. We don't want to spend all the time on one of them. Most likely, it will be a mix of them. Fully immersed realities. This reality will be interesting whenever you want to be at a place that you cannot be at physically. You will have the chance to travel back in time for education. You can visit distant planets, fictive worlds. These will be whole new economies and ecosystems. The opportunities here will be sheer endless, I believe, beyond our imagination today. This will be the place where you want to meet your family and your friends, when you cannot be together physically. You will have the chance to relive moments of the past. You will even have the chance of meeting family members that you never had the chance on meeting with. It is this reality that will make our world a truly global village. In a world full of buzzing digital stimuli, the power of simply being is profound. The offline reality, this is where we find balance. It is the silent moment, looking into a loved one's eyes, the unshared laughter, the unrecorded sunset. This reality reminds us of our humanity, our connection to this planet and to another. It is essential, it is irreplaceable, and it is deeply precious. Then there is the third, the blended reality. And I believe this is where magic happens. In our field of view, in our side, we will be able to see any information we need, customized to you. The knowledge of the world in your hands, actually even better, in front of your eyes. You know, for many years, people have been telling us, please, think out of the box. OK. You know what? Here we are. This is our moment. We can finally break out of the box. We can break out of the screens that have been limiting our way how we interact with digital content for the last 50 years. This is the moment we do, where we do not always need to pull out our phone or get distracted. This is truly transforming the way we work. This is changing the way we learn, and certainly also the way we communicate. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're walking through a city, a city where, where you do not know the culture, you do not know the language, you have no idea what is happening around you. In this blended reality, you will have the opportunity to stroll through the city with your tourist guide, who knows exactly the level of humor, of anecdotes, 
of professional information you want to have, and it will just provide all the information to you. Just as you walk down the, down the street, everything in your sight. The language you don't speak, the language you don't understand, no problem. It will be augmented. In your personal vision, the reality you see will be a reality that you understand. Oh God, my train is leaving. Where is the next train stop? No problem. You will have the path directly mapped out to the next train wherever you want to go, even showing you where to buy the ticket, where to find more information. This reality will make the planet accessible to everyone. These three realities, they're not only attractive, they are transformative. They will bring us closer together when we're together. They will give us superpowers whenever we need them, and they will let us travel to places that we cannot even imagine of today. It is going to be a reality which is not anymore either here or there. It is going to be the place where both worlds meet and physical and digital world together. I hate virtual reality headsets. But as we stand at the beginning of this new era, where our physical and digital worlds meet, it is essential that all of us are embracing this technology with openness, with curiosity. We need to experience it. We need to try it out. So I dare you, please try out the headsets. They are not perfect. They certainly are not. But they will unlock our superpowers, either today or tomorrow. We need to overcome our skepticism, our fears, and enter into a realm of understanding and experience. This is how we demystify the unknown. This is how we shape it into something that enhances rather than distracts from our human experience. We are at the dawn of a new exploration. Not of distant lands, but of digital frontiers and the landscapes of our human potential. As we embark on this journey, we need to realize we are not just passive observers here. We are the architects. Just like the explorers of the old, we have the chance to charter a course for future generations to follow. So let us use this opportunity. Let us explore with curiosity. Let us build with care and shape a future that reflects our highest aspirations. We are the explorer of the digital age. So let us set sail with hope, with responsibility, and with a shared vision. Thank you.